Good morning, Busby. Good morning, Buzz. <laughs> Get out of my crutch. <laughs> Buzz hugs. <laughs> now for you. Thank you. Get too close. I can't see you. Your <laughs> tail. Mm -hmm. Buzz, you wanna go to work today? You wanna go to work today? You wanna go? Go to work today. Bless you. Bless you. So what's going on? What's up guys? Good afternoon. Um, today I was going to talk a little bit about what Matt and I do for a living. I'm just going to move this way. There's some Christmas presents over there and I don't know who watches my videos so just in case. I had a, a question. I think it's Vegan Michelle. He asked what Matt does for work. And we've talked about it here and there on the channel. Of course, I wish he was here, but he is at work right now. He is the COO. So he runs a marketing company that's here in town. It was a company that he and a friend, um, or a friend had started it and that he got in basically on the ground floor um, and they started building this business together. And what the business does is they do website design but they help with uh, marketing for small businesses. They help the companies grow, small businesses grow, and they help with Google AdWords. So I know that that's the biggest thing that they do is Google AdWords. Um, they are AdWords certified. I don't know anything else about it, um, but that's, that's what he does. So he runs that company. So he deals with clients, he brings in new clients, he helps keep the clients happy, um, and then oversees the employees and interns that they have, because they have a lot of interns that come from Texas State, the college here in town. So that's what he does and it's awesome. He loves it. Marketing and sales are his thing. So um, if you guys do need a website, you can check him out. It's row.net, R-O-W. And what I do, what I do, most of you probably know I'm online health and fitness coach. Uh, so I do online workout programs and then I help with macronutrients. I don't do meal plans. Uh, that has never ended well for me. And I, I have really not seen it do well in the long run um, for others. But I focus on mentality. So the focus with my coaching programs is not just adhering to workouts and specific macros or a meal plan or whatever it is, but uh, figuring out how to make this lifestyle work into your lifestyle. Most people, think that they have to adapt their lifestyle to fit around a diet or around workouts when really they can't sustain it because they don't do the other way around. So I try and help my clients find what's going to work best for them in the long run. Um, life happens, things happen along the way and we have to reevaluate, okay, what's not working? Why is this not working? So that's my main focus is mentality. Um, the Workouts and the macros are essentially the easy part, but they're not going to work if you got other stuff up here going on that needs to be dealt with first. As we all know, um, our basically our, our physical body is a reflection of, of our inside. Um, if you're not taking care of yourself mentally, I feel like it definitely reflects on um, your physical body, whether it's in the form of weight gain, weight loss things like that. So we focus on the mentality of it. I'm very, very intrigued by the um, internal aspects of this health and fitness journey. So I'm pursuing, I'm hoping to find some more um, education regarding mentality and being kind of a, a mental health coach. Um, so yeah, if I find anything, or if you guys know of anything online or, or any um, programs that I can study or work on or books that I can read, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to read them. Um, Cause like I said, that, that fascinates me. Um, but yeah, that's what I do. And then of course I'm focusing on YouTube. What I really love about YouTube is it brings, it just lets me know, or it gives you guys that much more information about me and my life. So for clients, you guys can actually see what I'm like um, outside of just talking with you via check-ins and on Instagram or whatever it is. Um, and then it also offers just a whole different lifestyle aspect of health and fitness. So I show you guys that health and fitness isn't about just working out or um, eating certain foods or avo avoiding any foods. 
it's gonna look different for everybody and I wanna show you guys just another way that you can be healthy and happy and live a very fulfilling and wonderful life. Um, not really technically a job, but I consider it part of it because it that Instagram, um, my online coaching, it all ties into one another. So yeah, that's what I do. Don't know if this is gonna be the last clip for the vlog, but thank you for tuning in, you. Hope you're having a good day. Let's do a high five. Okay, I will see y'all either in the next clip or the next video. Ready to go to the rock gym? You ready? We're gonna go show you off your sweater. We're gonna show how cute you are to everybody. Everybody's gonna see how cute you are. First, let's get your sister. Come on in, cute cat. Come on. Come. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I completely had a like shit bag moment. I had completely forgotten that last week I scheduled basically a meeting with um, this girl at the gym. She used to be the manager, but also a cycle instructor. And she was going over the consoles for the cycle bikes um, because they're really fancy and they measure like your, um, your average RPM and your power and all of that stuff. But I, last time I taught, we didn't have those. So she was kind of teaching me a little bit about that. Well, I completely forgot it. 4.30 I was supposed to be there, so I pull up to Starbucks and I get a text message from her asking me if I was on my way. And so I had to hurry and take Buzz to Matt's work, drop off the coffees, and then rush over there. And so we just got done going over a little bit of information. And I was gonna take her class, but it ended up being full. So, yeah. I don't do that stuff, you guys. I don't miss appointments and I'm not late for shit, but this whole working for yourself thing can, uh, that can be a downfall of it because I kind of get real laid back with my schedule and whenever I do schedule things, I forget because they're not normally in my schedule, if that makes sense. So right now, it's six o'clock and I'm heading back to Matt's work. We're gonna have dinner at his work. Uh, I packed us some little lunches to go dinners and I'll show you and then we're gonna go to the rock gym uh, Yeah, so hope you guys enjoy the fun of our evening Buzz! Hi! Hi Buzz! What's she eating? I got started. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. I like this. Potatoes, beans, and tofu. Uh -huh. And go get mine. It's the coffees that got me in trouble earlier. Probably was. Well, I wouldn't have come in that early. This tastes like cinnamon. I thought that tasted like. So I have. Um, this is half of a block of tofu with about an ounce of Daya cheddar cheese and some broccoli that I need some salt for. We're gonna eat this mass watching top here. Is it top here? No. Grand tour. Grand tour, sorry. Uh, yeah, and then we're gonna go. Me too, Buzz Buzz! They got live music up there. Meow. That's pretty cool. It's the best gym ever. Come on, finish it. 
Yeah, there you go. Nice. Nice, Blue. Alright, so now that we're back home, I'm going to show you guys one of my tricks and secrets to enjoying my diet and to staying consistent. This is like really hard to do, but if you try hard, you might be able to get this down. You guys ready for the secret to being consistent on your diet? Let me show you. My secret is this. This is not just any big bowl of mush and sweets. This, you guys, is what I like to call, besides zooming in awkwardly on my face, enjoying your diet. That's the secret. That's the trick. Just enjoying what you eat. Um, what I always enjoy is sweets. So I end most of the days, most of my days with something sweet. Now whether it's a big bowl like this, it's not normally this much food, um, but it could be some protein sludge, it could be a cookie, some ice cream, fruit, um, just something sweet to end the day. And that's the secret. And what it boils down to is just enjoying your diet. Enjoying what you eat, just consistently enjoying it. If you don't enjoy it, change something because chances are you're not going to be able to stick with it long term if you don't enjoy what you're eating. How can you expect to stick with it for a lifetime if you dread your meals? So this is what I'm having tonight. Um, I didn't eat quite enough during the day and now it's pretty late. I just want to eat um, and then we're going to go to bed. So this is some protein sludge with some sugar-free oatmeal better than peanut butter spread, three large pitted dates, one serving each of these delicious cereals. And because I'm a child, I mixed it all in a giant bowl and I'm about to enjoy the heck out of this. No joke. So that's gonna conclude today's vlog with our big bowl of goodness. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it and What are you gonna have? Do you see what I'm having? I see that. I don't know. You want some? Chips and dip. Give it all lined up and look all nice. I look know. That. That's think, Matt's dessert, chips and dip. I think I'm gonna have this. That's dense. Bye. What's Buzz gonna have? What are you gonna have? He already ate dinner. He had his dinner. So we're gonna go enjoy this. We might watch Game of Thrones. That's correct. One episode? One episode. Oh my god, you guys. Seriously, enjoy your diet. Enjoy it. See y'all tomorrow. Huh? Where'd you go? <laughs> Bye. In the window. <laughs>